Hello, this is David with Affiliate Reviews, and I am going to be discussing a product that I use. It's called Muse.ai, and this is a handy product. It's pretty powerful, and it can do a great wealth of help for you with your video creation. So I'm going to go ahead and give you a quick overview, and I'll recap at the end and give you my two cents. So let's talk about Muse.ai and why you might want to use a product like this. So first thing I want to do is take you over to my account. You're going to see some of my videos that I've uploaded. And the cool thing about some of these videos that I've made, some of them I've downloaded and uploaded, is the, um, well, first, let's go back. You can see the ability, which is an innovative phase right now. You can actually record and screen record. I'm doing a recording right now, but I want you to see the options on the screen, screen, camera, and both. I will let you know that I have uh, experimented with this. It's still working out some of the bugs, which is okay. It's in beta phase right now, but it, in the future, it should be ready for you to have those options to do some sort of screen recording and also camera recording. So let's look at some of the documentation we have here. I'm just going to give you a list of things that you can do. I've gone through this a few times, and this is actually pretty helpful. You can add a video. You can record yourself. Of course, you have information to your account. Now, there's basic operations that you can control, and we're going to go a little bit further into that, a little bit more into the video. This you can actually brand. You can put on your own logo. Now, the market, I haven't done too much with um, licensing and ownership of my video, but it's pretty neat that you actually have a little bit more control over those aspects. So if that's something you're interested in, there is some opportunities there. You have something I really value, search, and you can search for just about anything. This right here is probably the biggest reason I recommend this product above other screen recorders or video players. I have a lot of them. I like to use the free ones. I use the uh, standard Windows uh, media player. I use the uh, VL, uh, I believe it's VL, um, let me type it in. V L, what is it? V L R, yeah, VLC, VLC media player. This is the one I use more than anything. Um, again, that's free and it's, it's very handy, but there are some limitations with some of the free players. So I'm gonna explain in this search why this makes having this uh, Muse.ai so much worth the, um, the opportunity to do it. Um, frequently asked questions is great. There's also a chat box here if you want to get in touch with um, any of the represent representatives and ask them questions, which I've done in the past. And they've been more than accommodating to me in a lot of ways. So you'll be pleasantly surprised. The help support is fantastic, which I can't say for everything. Embedding videos. I've done this a lot on my websites. I have embedded videos that I've made for my students and whatnot. It's pretty easy. You get your code. You can do quite a bit with the videos as well. You can make chapters like you can do on YouTube where you have different types of, uh, I'm going to put it, different types of, uh, uh, th uh, what's the word when you make the chapters? I want to describe this right. You can have it where it's like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, where you're using the, um, the almost like thumbnails, but they're thumb stamps. I believe it's the title for them, thumb stamps. So you can actually put that on Muse.ai, and they're very smooth, and they look fantastic. They really help out with the um, viewer so they, they can click through. But um, again, my favorite is the search, so we're going to go into that a little bit more in depth. Okay, now this is just some basic information that talks about how you can share some of your videos, um, a little bit how you can embed, and we'll talk about that as well as we get further in. So these are just some videos I uploaded, some of them I've made. You know, um, For example, I had a Zoom call that was pretty important, and it was um, 14 minutes long. There's parts of the Zoom I remember, keywords that I needed to go and find, and that's where some of the opportunity that we're going to talk about in the search is going to be so impactful. So here's a video I made. This is my own creation. It's one of my my ebooks that I've turned into a video. And you can see after I uploaded it. Now I didn't add the chapters or a description. I didn't I didn't feel I needed to, but I just wanted to upload it for specific reasons. Part of that is once I upload it, I have a full transcript. And this is great because it gives specific times in a transcript. There's specific words. So if I wanted to search um, for specific words, 
I can go ahead and type those in. I can download the whole transcript. Um, this to me is new. I haven't actually gone in and done anything with the edit, so I'm going to have to play with that. Um, same thing with market. It's still a little new to me, but in theory, this transcript is great because I can click on any word and it will take me right there in the video. Fantastic. So the good thing about that is say I'm teaching a course or I'm a student and there's a particular word that woke me up, something that made me think um, or a part of an hour long lecture that I need to go back and find. Say I'm in medical school and there's a specific um, part of cardiology I need to go back to. I can type in what the professor is saying or or even the term and that will take me to that section of the video so I don't have to search around. That makes this tool extremely invaluable. I know other video players on the market are trying to come up with additional ways to do things like this, but have an opportunity to search with that level of sophistication is an amazing time saver. And now you can go in a video right here and you can just search anything. I can search for speech, but I don't necessarily have to stay stuck on speech. I can look for scenes. So when I click here, this is going to give me scenes in a video. Anything that I've seen, it's going to help me search for it and I can type in things. So for example, if there was a kite, a screen, and this is going to tell me where I can actually see some of this stuff, a tennis racket right here. This is extremely helpful when you're in a pinch. People, say there's specific people. Now the names aren't in here. I can insert the names if I wanted to, or if the names were given for these people, um, then, um, for example, this video has clips of people like a commercial. It's not going to necessarily give you names, but if there were obvious names, they would have names and I can search on a name. So again, if I'm in a lecture for medical school, we're going over to cardiology department and Ronald is our patient. I can type in Ronald and it will take me to that section of the video, which makes this a huge type saver. We talked about objects. Let's look into the text. This is great, too, because if you see images of the text, you can actually click on this, these images. And that's fantastic. I can show you in other videos where where this can be a very good time saver. I have an anatomy video and every time we go to a different section of the anatomy video from this five hour DVD, it breaks down parts of the um, axis of the human body. And if we're talking about shoulders or uh, the knees or um, any anything, um, the lumbar spine, you can, you can, it will actually have a highlight where it will list the, um, the actual part of the body. So you can click on those um, images of the text and it will take you there. The cool thing about this is it doesn't even stop there. Um, in beta, this is new. In beta, we have now actions, exercising, cleaning, washing, dancing, writing. So if there's sections of the video where just interactions that are actions are taking place, you can actually click on those sections that will help you find those locations of the video, which makes this really helpful. So you can see how this is a valuable tool. I've actually made a few videos um, like you've seen here and embedded them on my website for my students and given them a really powerful lesson because I gave them the option to take a, a video and find specific parts of that video and search it and use that for their quizzes and for their learning. Let's go into sounds. And here we have different sounds, speech, music, silence. So you can see there's quite a bit of things you can do with this software. I highly recommend it. The price can be kind of pricey. I did talk to them and let them know I was um, a struggling researcher at the time. They gave me a really healthy discount, so I would definitely reach out to them. Um, but if this is something that you wanted to give a shot and pick up, I'm going to have a link in the description to my link. My link will give you a month free. So I highly recommend you go ahead and make a purchase through my link and that will give you a month free. So um, take advantage of that opportunity. Um, once you actually have an account, you can also become an affiliate where you will be able to um, not only help people get a month free, but um, you can also get a little bit of a commission if that's something you're interested in, too. Um, more importantly for me, I just want to educate on the subject. I don't mind a commission ever, 
But um, I highly recommend you use my link because you will get them out free and that will be very helpful considering that the price of this can be a little bit more costly. Okay. Now, another thing that you're going to notice with Muse.ai besides the um, embedding is the integrations that you can put this on. WordPress, it works very well with. I have used it on Wix, but not a whole lot. I haven't used it on Squarespace, but it's not a problem. The player is extremely clean. It looks beautiful. When you embed it on a website, it's actually really pleasant to the eye. I didn't have any um, issues with it. In fact, I, I'm going to go to one of my websites so you can actually take a look at this. So we're going to see this in real time. This is going to be a quick demonstration. Let's see. I'm trying to make sure I get the website right. So you're going to have to bear with me. Why we pull up the website, what I would like to um, remind you before you get a software like this is that you're always going to want to take a look at what your needs are. So if you are someone that needs to have some additional help with a, a video uh, player that will give you an opportunity to search for specific things and save you some time, this would be probably something I would highly recommend. Another thing that um, I glanced over we didn't really talk about is the editing function. So you can actually um, cut clips. Okay. And here, um, that's gonna be that's gonna be the new thing that we were talking about that I haven't spent too much time on. But you see the edit of the transcript, and um, here we have the famous JFK speech, and instructions are are pretty pretty basic. You just go into edit, you go into the transcript to the the segments that you want. Looks like you even have the opportunity to edit people. And that's when you give them a name. There we go. So you can see you have a lot of power with this. Okay, let's go ahead and get you over. To the actual website so you can see this in real time. Before we do that, we're going to click on this video. This is um, the video that I actually have over there. And you can see the quality is fantastic. You have the ability to screencast this on multiple devices. If need be, you can adjust the speed. Adjustable speed, you can slow it down, you can speed it up. Doesn't give you too many options, but it's not terrible. You can turn on subtitles or have them off. Okay, the screen size, not bad at all. Now in here, it looks like I did go ahead and add a little bit of a um, description of the video. Nothing too big. I didn't add thumbnails. Just a little bit of the description. We got the transcript here. So let's actually go ahead. Let's take a look at the edit function and just in real time see what we can do. And oh, and right away, I see that we have the opportunity to um, draw a play around. So let's take up into this sentence, okay. What do we have here? Looks like a trash. No speech detected. So we're gonna cancel out of there. It looks like it's pretty fun to play around. It looks looks pretty 
yeah, it looks like it's not it's not too difficult to really mess with. We're going to go ahead and X out, though. And let's take one more look and see if we can um, pull up the the course. We might we might be going through technical difficulties where it's not ready. So hopefully we can um, have this set. Okay, let's give it another minute. And we are set. So we're going to go ahead and go into the website so you can see the course. And and let's take a look. And here you can see where I put the player. Restorative yoga. And you can see right here the search ability. You can see where they can cast it. You can see where they can full screen it. It's very beautiful uh, the way it looks on a WordPress site. Very clean. Quality is amazing. This is a really good player. So again, take your time. It's a fantastic tool that can help you. If you want to get it, use the link in this description right here. And that should help you out.